so now let us see what different kind of formattings we can apply that is bold that we just applied that thickens your text then there is italic which makes your text go little slant then there is underline which is used to give underlines to your text or data then we have font sizes from which you can select any size that you want or you can simply use these buttons this grow font and shrink font buttons when you click on grow the size of the data increases and when you shrink it the size of the data reduces then we have font styles which is like how your text is appearing like different different styles or you can say different handwritings so you can simply move through these fonts and you can see in the live preview how it will look like so let's say I select this particular font and it will be applied what else you can do is apply the font color or the text color select the data then from the colors just move through your mouse to the color that you like and select the color and if you want more colors you can simply go to more colors and select the color that you want from the standard or from the custom you can move the arrow to get the particular shade of that color same way you can also have the background color so for example as you saw here that we were using some background colors here so in this file let's say for yes we need a shade of green so we will go to the fill color and let's say we use this then for no it is red so we will go to the red and let's say this and for sick we will use yellow so let's say we will use this so this is how you can use the background colors and then there are also borders so for which you will simply select the data the, from this border icon you can either apply bottom border like this top border left right or all borders you can also have an outside border a thick outside border bottom double thick bottom or any particular style or you can simply go and select the style of the border that you want then color for the border that you want let's say this and then simply draw the border wherever you want it for example like this and when you are done simply click on the save button and the changes will be saved now as you can see that this particular table or this particular data is not looking like how we had seen in the original file it is because here data is in the one cell and here data is going into more than one cell so in this case what we will do is use the alignment group and try and make this data look much more presentable so next what we are going to see is the alignment group